ATP, what to do with your boy Clay Moore Rain? Shout out to all my subscribers. If this is your first time tapping into the content, I do invite you to go ahead and subscribe. Hit your bell icon so you so you get alerts when all this content is dropping. So Keyshawn Davis, the businessman in the media, doing what he does. People are getting kind of annoyed with Keyshawn, right? But I I, I happen to find uh, what Keyshawn's doing right now very refreshing, right? Calling out all the top fighters in the game, um, stake, staking his claim of why he is who he is and what separates him from the rest of the of the bunch, right? Well, in the recent um, interview slash conversation happening between him and Shushu Carrington, shout out to um, Bruce Shushu Carrington. He is fighting on friday night and he's also going to be fighting at madison square garden as well as xander zayas so shout out to those guys but specifically on Keyshawn davis shaking up the the boxing space as he's putting challenges out there and letting me know what his intentions are making it clear and obviously shaking the bushes up a little bit ruffling some feathers in the game a lot of tank fans not happy with Keyshawn davis's fast track to the top as he's right now about to headline his own event in norfolk virginia for the first time you're talking about a guy who's you know sitting at uh what 14 fights into his career um undefeated just moving as quickly as possible and right now to be honest with you in contention is one of the what is the number three or number two in the wbo uh sanctioning body rankings right now so you know very likely that after this fight he's probably going to be chasing the title as it looks like bob aram is also fast tracking him putting a spotlight on him it seems as it seems as if ever since Shakur Stevenson has gone his own way and left a top rank that Bob Aaron's been looking for that new face of top rank right new face of 135 pounds you guys see how he, uh, Bob Aaron is fast tracking Abdullah Mason right now he's on pace to be at like seven fights this year I mean that's just amazing within itself that's very old school right as a hardcore boxing fans might say um to be fast tracking Abdullah that way but Keyshawn getting his own event you know this is a big event for him and after this event this is going to put him in in the conversation of all these guys and when, we, when we're saying all these guys who are we talking about we're talking about tank Davis, we're talking about shakur stevenson we're talking about devin haney we're talking about tfimo lopez dennis baranchek vasily lomachenko right all the top guys right now at 135 pounds um Keyshawn is looks like he's pretty much going to be in that conversation in a minute and everybody can get it right and as awkward as it might sound or as it may look being that he's so close with Shakur Stevenson they're like brothers damn near in this space but look they're not even on the same promotional platform anymore they're not even on the same promotional platform anymore um Shakur Stevenson does have that WBC title so listen at some point or another they're probably going to be bumping heads and Keyshawn just making it clear that he is the businessman and it's going to be business first it's going to be the business of boxing the business of fighting first the business that feeds his family that takes care of um everybody he loves is what he's going to be putting on the line you know Bruce Carrington having that conversation with him really just gave like this transparent look at Keyshawn Davis where he got to really just communicate in a very um dare i say humble way because there was a lot of arrogance in what he was saying right there's a lot of uh confidence in what he was saying but ultimately very honest right transparent and honest about how he feels about everybody who's in his way in the division how he feels it just brings that extra thing that everybody else doesn't right he's fast track he's sitting at his record i can't i don't remember what i'm talking about i believe he's like 14 and oh or 15 and oh don't don't quote me but um, he's somewhere in that range and he's already about to be challenging for a title to be a, be a champion at 135 one of the let's be honest one of the hottest divisions in in, in, the, in the game right now why because Javante Tank Davis is there because Shakur Stevenson is there because Vasily Lomachenko is there and there were times a few months back where Keyshawn Davis put challenges out for Javante Tank Davis and put challenges out there to to challenge the Vasily Lomachenko's and even Devin Haney who's at 140 right now and people thought that he was out of his lane right out of his lane to be asking for that he hasn't earned it who has he fought what has his record what has his record or his resume said to to give him an opportunity to fight against any of those guys right but now getting closer and closer to actually getting a championship in this division 
kind of makes it clear that he has a right to call these guys out i mean any boxer has a right to call anybody out at the end of the day you know it's it's a free country but listen man when you're holding one of those belts that just puts you in the conversation and it puts you in a conversation where nobody can rebuke it right nobody can refute your state to ask for a unification um title fight with any of the champions and Keyshawn davis is far 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 away from lacking confidence in what he can do in his division i personally am excited I'm excited to see him um to see him flourish in the division. I think he brings a pedigree that's just going to give anybody a challenge, right? He's going to bring that aggression, he's going to bring that IQ, he's going to bring that that athleticism, um he's going to bring that punching power, right? To the, to the division that just makes these fights exciting. I've said it before and I'll say it again and I'll say it over and over again in the future videos. He brings that dancing partner to the table and that's what makes fights, right? Two people make a fight. Right. And you got you need that dancing partner, the guy who's going to bring the best out of you. And Keyshawn Davis does seem to show that. Right. He seems to, to exude that talent, exude that intention, that aggression. Right. He has that heart to deliver um, in the ring. And, and I could see him definitely being a unified champion at 135. I could also see him moving up to 140 and doing a lot of work up there. Right. But where he presently is right now is in that 135 pound division. Um, in the interview, he just speaks very um, clearly about how he feels about how he would do Javante Tank Davis, how he would do Devin Haney. Right. Didn't really speak about Shakur, but listen, he did say that no matter what, nothing was going to stop him from getting to where he had to get to. So you got to assume if Shakur comes up, then that'll just be something they have to deal with at that time. Friendship will get put to the side and he's made it clear, you know, there's nothing stopping him from reaching his goals of being the face of boxing. He wants to be the face of boxing. And we already know when we're talking about the face of boxing, we're talking about Javante Tank Davis, Canelo Alvarez, right? We know what they bring to, to the table. Keyshawn's trying to do the same thing, deliver exciting fights. Well, he's starting in a great place with this fight he's got coming up on November 8th. Um, him and uh, um, Le uh, Gustavo Limos. It's going to be an exciting fight. Be a sequel to the fight that he had with Miguel Madueno, um earlier this year, where he put on, honestly, stole the show in that fight. In this fight, um, headlining his own card he has an opportunity to put on that exciting fight get an exciting stoppage really make a statement in the space about who he is and what he brings to the game it's, it's a great thing about top rank as well as the way the way they develop their fighters i think top rank has one of the best systems when it comes to developing their fighters right and they're developing Keyshawn in a very organic way keeping him busy giving him activity but most importantly great matchmaking being made for Keyshawn Davis as the, the challenges go higher and higher. Earlier this year, he went from Jose Pedrazo, which was a, which was a good challenge for him, coming off of a little bit of a suspension from popping on that marijuana test, right? He, he got suspended for a little bit, came back, excellent performance against Jose Pedraza, stopped him, then comes up against a hard-hitting, I want to say Mexican, I, I feel like Miguel Madueno is Mexican, fighter, hard nose, come forward, um, took a lot of punishment. Miguel did. Um, Keyshawn showed that he was able to fight on the inside, deal with the storm. He wasn't going to run. He wasn't going to, uh, you know, shy away from confrontation, from, from, from a melee. He showed what he could do in that fight and gave one of the best performances of that night, if not the best performance that night. And then now he has, he has a fight lined up with Gustavo Limos, who's going to bring that Miguel Madueno energy, right? He's coming forward. You guys remember Miguel, um, Gustavo Limos from when he fought Richard Hitchinson in a fight where a lot of people thought he won that fight, right? Although Hitchinson walked away with the decision, it was debatable. A lot of people thought that he won that fight. I would say most, most people think he won that fight. So him coming down to 135 to find Keyshawn Davis, perfect opponent, perfect dancing partner. I think it's great things in, um, in, in the, in the, um, in the future for Keyshawn Davis excited to go see it I don't even know which fight I'm actually I think I'm out to be heading down out to Norfolk to catch that fight if not you know you got boots on the ninth I'm still weighing it out which fight I want to go see but definitely one of them is going to get caught but yeah Keyshawn Davis putting a statement out there you guys let me know in the comments what you think is he biting off more than he can choose he doing too much what's wrong with fighters calling out fighters today what is it who makes the argument for when a fighter can call out another fighter what is this whole story about he has no right to or he his resume doesn't demand it or what is what is what does this come from right it's a new era of boxing clearly where people are going to have their opinions on things but look breath of fresh air love to see these fighters do what Keyshawn's doing as long as there's a fight that can be made out of it why shouldn't he call call the fighters out 
right now tank davis looking like he's having a hard time making the fights that he has uh, as far as the list is concerned of fighters that he wants to fight again look Keyshawn davis look like he's gonna be your huckleberry he's gonna be available and ready to go he's more than willing to do it and he's a great dancing partner so let's see what the future holds starting off with november 8th Keyshawn davis and gustavo limos let's see where that goes Keyshawn davis has to back up those words he looks like he has no problem being held to task so be looking forward to seeing him do it. You guys let me know what you think in the comment. It's your boy Claymore Rain. Shout out once again to my subscribers. Like I told you guys, you guys make this channel great. We're growing every day. If it's your first time tapping the content, join the family. Hit your subscribe button, man. Hit your bell icon so you're getting these little videos when I drop them out and get my perspective on, on, on these fighters and, and these fights that are coming up. It's your boy Rain. It's that ATP Combat Media Show. We was in it. Just like that. We out.